What's reverse layering? Using your hands. Yeah, I told you that. What's reverse layering? Layering in reverse. Cool, so you're layering above first. Yeah, so you take your first section is your longest section and you go from there, all right? So, just as a little demo before I wash it, we'll have a little look around this side quickly. Now, this length is borderline. Okay, it's borderline a little bit too long. Nonetheless, I'm going to show you anyway. Okay, so reverse rows, like I said, you're going to take it from the curvature, you're going to take it from your first column and work around. All right, as, as a right hander, you want to be starting on the left hand side. As a left hander, you want to be starting on the right. Who's left handed? Love that. Love that. Right, so the reason why you want to be starting on the right hand side is because it gives you a clear guide to flow around the head. Right now, you've got to be picturing what the finished article is. Okay, <coughs> with a reverse layer, you want to be predominantly square. Make sense? Good. So you're square through here. So when you pull out the section, that's all square. Okay. Think of a box. Mirror a box. That will help you have a finished article in your head. Any haircut you do, always have a finished article in your head. So something to be working towards. Okay. If you're not already doing that, try it. It's a lot easier. Oh, wicked. So, what you want to be doing, you want to be pulling it out, square from that point. Now watch my comb, it's all in the comb action. Okay, so the comb, when I come in, is my comb comes out square. Square, the comb is completely square. Okay, I will cut the guide, boom. Drop it, my guide's going to be evident, I'm going to slide my comb in, my, my scissor in directly underneath it. And again, I'm going to be showing you this <coughs> in a lot more detail. Square. Your corner's always going to be round, into square. Your corner's always going to be round, into square. Okay, cool. Each section you do, you're going to complete each column before you move on. Because again, that is your guide from everywhere else. Makes sense. Reverse layer, very important that you check the previous haircut. Okay? Because if you're if you're just going off of I'm taking about an inch off all over, well how do you know that that haircut is even to start with? So your inch all off all over is gonna give it a very uneven haircut, is it not? So it's not really even. Oh, very important that you check the previous haircut for that reason. Okay? Cross checking as well is really, really important when it comes to scissor work. It's the easiest way to check the last shape. We all know what cross checking is, right? Mm -hmm. Just start. Cool. How long ago was it cut, my friend? About a month ago. How long does hair grow in a month, guys? Half an inch. Fantastic. So when he's asking, mm, I just want to trim up, really. What are you going to show him? What are you going to recommend to him? How much it's grown? Yeah. Good. <coughs> No, we don't really deal with graduation and reverse layer. What's the difference between graduation and layer? The position of the hand. Yeah, good. So it's the way that it's been cut. So layer is brought out completely square, square. nice and straight. Graduation, taking the bottom layer shorter. Yeah, very simple. So just think about that. Square's pulled out nice and straight. Graduation is pulled out up on angles. So your, your knuckles will stay tight to the head. Yeah? Cool. Now, obviously, with reverse layering, you don't want to graduate because graduation equals weight. Yeah? We don't want to do that. Cool. So, cut wise, what do you want me to do for you, my friend? Yeah, cool. Pictures are always great as well. Yeah. Always encourage pictures. Where is he? Call that Hampton. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, cool. Happy with that? Marvellous. So, I would normally disconnect, but the length on top is not long enough, so no point. So, on top, I'm going to take off about that. Yeah, you're gonna have it considerably longer than the size of your back. Yeah, 
He said, I want to bring it a little bit shorter. Okay. I was like, okay, yeah. sure, you don't know what you're doing. Too short. Sure. They right. bought it a bit too short. No problem. My no problem. We won't be doing that today. Cool. Again, I'm going to be taking off about, about an inch on the sides on the back as well. Cool. Now, reverse layering. When will you choose to do it? Guy comes in with nice clean hair. Reverse layer. All right. Um, even if it's not clean, if it's laying very, very, very natural, reverse layer. All right. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get this gentleman washed. I'm going to dry it and then reverse layer. Just so I can show you. I wouldn't normally do that in a shop, so don't ask that question. Cool. Just follow this gentleman for me, please. Amazing. Now, like I said, the benefit of a reverse layer, which you're going to see how accurate it does. You finish, you can layer the sides of the back, like I said, in about five to ten minutes, which is obviously the crux of your hair cut, all of this area. All right, um, for me, reverse layer is a bit of a ring ding dong, like, yes, wicked. Someone's coming in that wants that sort of haircut that happens when your jaw is like, yeah, it's so easy to do, so quick to be done, okay, and it looks so effective because you've got all this mess and all these layers, you've got maybe. How much more effective does that look than a little cheap fade? Everyone knows how to fade nowadays. Okay? Anyone of you went to the hair show? I know you did. You did as well. I know you were there. Walking around the building, how many nice fades were around there? And if you take any of you there yourself? Wicked. People know how to cut hair nowadays. Yeah? It's gone of those days of people just bodging a fade. Fades are being done perfectly. So, what distinguishes you guys from the next barber? And this is the one? Anything other than that? Perfect. So finish your personalisation to the haircut, okay? Which is what we're going to be focusing on a lot on this week. Um, methodical patterns behind doing everything sharp and accurate but very, very quickly. Yeah, things are done quickly. Even if you are in salons that are appointment based, faster the better. Because the quicker you do your fundamentals, the longer you've got on your personalisation. Your personalisation to a haircut is what's going to make that haircut last not two weeks, not four weeks, but six weeks. Cool. How do you make a skin tape last six weeks? Personalisation. Okay. And taking that time for detail. It's all about the detail. And again, we're going to show this, all right? The longer you've got for your detail, the longer the haircut lasts, the better it looks, the easier it is for them to style. Word of mouth spreads with you doing it with nothing. Absolutely nothing. Word of mouth nowadays is spreading for the most efficient haircut that's lasting the longest. Cool. So even though it's a skin taper and it's going to be six weeks, obviously not going to be a skin taper anymore, it's got six weeks worth of growth, but the shape is still there. Yeah, the finish is still there. It still looks like a wearable haircut. Whereas, you're doing a basic skin fade and a round layer on top. How long is that going to last? Not very long, two weeks. It's going to be horrible. Yeah? Um, texturizing. There's a lot behind that. Again, that all falls into your personalization. Taking out enough weight, not too much, not destroying shape, keeping the shape. Um, and using the right technique for that, for that finish, for that haircut. Yeah? So, I'm going to show you quite a few on this guy. Cool. Um, texturizers. We use the texturizers. Cool. What about razors? The texturizing razors. I got one, I haven't used it yet though. Yes, American! It's got loads and loads of cool toys. <laughs> <laughs> Should you show us how to use the texturizing razors? Cool. Yeah. Any no. questions? No? This is fantastic. The result you get with this, you can't get with any other tool. It's a little broken. No, just a crack. Yeah, you can't get any other result with this tool. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, have you have done four haircuts with this before? I have. No, four haircuts. Yeah. 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 Especially, especially a man's long haircut oh. to get the Kurt Cobain kind of line. It's awesome. It's a shame I'm showing you reverse layout because I could have done this kind of great. Um, oh, amazing. Bloody amazing. 
Um, cool, I'm going to show you some raising techniques. Have you all got a raise? Not here, but I, I didn't know I'd need it. Alright, no problem. Oh. You can if you've got a guard. Thank you. So mine has a guard. I'll show you. Yeah, this is called a feather raise on it. Yeah. I've got a feather guard that you can use. Oh, wicked. Yeah, everything you're doing with it is you don't want to be doing a cutthroat. You should cut yourself. Quite badly. Yeah. What you can get, though, is. Yeah, see? Yeah, there you see? go. Put the guard on it. Oh no, mine has a plastic guard that you put over the actual cutthroat razor itself. People doing it with a cutthroat razor and a cut. Yeah, that's um works very well with very very short oh, yeah. afro hair. So I don't really like it on long hair. Can't really control it, crazy. Take it, man. <laughs> Bill, times my models in. Love that. Love Hot dryer, I've ever used. You've got walls. Can I use power up? Have any of you uh, messed around with the new Dyson dryer? Well, you played with it? I love it. Oh, I love it, yeah. The side. The side. Very odd. Very odd. Have you, have you seen it? No. It's just, it's just hollow. And it, 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 it sucks in air behind and somehow heats it through radio wave and comes out hot. How's your drying time? An air conditioning one. Yeah, it's an air conditioning one. Yeah, 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 that's where it came from. The side of it was an air conditioning Yeah, 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 they just flipped it from all the way. But how is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the finish, because, because, you know, you don't have a novel or anything on it. Do you do? Oh, okay. Yeah. What's the finish like? Do you like it? I love it. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. About the, the model times, every other day we haven't started cutting until half twelve. What, what? I said every other day when we've had a demo, we haven't started cutting until half twelve. Alright. He said eleven forty-five. No, I just meant that would be a bit of a tight fit when it should get the demo done and be cutting. Oh, well, that. <clears throat> Are they expensive, the Dysons? I think they're naturally part from the length. That's fine. No, it's all good. But when I come to Australia, I'll do that. Are the Dysons expensive? Yeah, they're pretty. How much? £300. What? Yeah, well, the Dyson vacuum is expensive, so... What are they doing? Yeah. I'll take my word back, the bubble. Where's the bubble? Yeah, well, the one I was just talking about is £200. Oh, what? Can I buy you your scissors? Are you your scissors? Sharp ones. I'm going to go to the other one.
don't engage the team when you start like that. You just undercut it into. Yes, love that. All right, cool guys. So again, you've got to really, really picture that finished shape, okay? Um, if you don't, if you don't have that finished shape, all sorts of stuff can happen. Nope, nope. Okay, so what I've done, guys, is I've just simply moved. You might want to stand, dude, just so you can see. Okay, I've just simply moved the top weight out of the way. Don't overcomplicate it, okay? I've moved it just above the curvature out of the way. Cool? The reason for that is this is my starting point, this is my guide. So I want it to be as accurate as physically possible. That is the reason for why I've done it. Cool. Now, what I'm doing is I'm gonna put my scissor just underneath the curvature, okay? And I'm gonna pull it out nice and square and I'm gonna cut what I wanna come off, about an inch. Hold it down. I'm gonna simply go about half a centimeter underneath my first cut. I'm gonna pull it out nice and square. Now, where is my, where's my guide? Can you see it, amazing. Cut it, mind your fingers, I'll cut them off. Cut them down, another half a centimeter lower. In, now, the thinner the column, the more accurate the cut, obviously. What's very important is that I'm pulling my section nice and square. So look at my cone, it's square to the head. Make sense? Yeah? <coughs> Yeah, no, really. Yeah, yeah. Should be able to hear it and feel it cutting the way to the two, yeah? So quarter inch sections? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, depends on how sharp your scissors are as well, guys. And obviously, if you, if you can pick up a nice, thick amount of hair, you can do larger sections. Do larger sections. Cool. Just to show you how accurate that is. Obviously it's dry, so it's a bit of a bitch to pick up. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Nice and blood. Good stuff. Cool. Now I'm just going to go start going for it. So this is my first column. Okay? So, I'm going to take obviously a part of my first column. There's my guide. Come down, back in underneath, come out square. So again, you see what I mean by a lot of it is done by vision. Because guides and stuff like that are very minimal. You don't really see very much of them. With a what, my friend? What's a bubble head? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> that, I had one of them yesterday. Tell him, if you keep moving, I'm going to cut your ear off. <laughs> cool. Now, guys, again, so obviously we're dipping our shape, so that's all nice and square, right? Cool. I've done first quarter already, just two columns, happy days. So obviously through the back I need to drop my shape from my crown, okay? So again, my scissor's gonna go in at a slight angle to pick it up so I can come in and start to drop my shape. Does that make sense, yeah? Good, cool. If I drop your shape, what, adding a little bit more length? Drop my shape to, meaning to comprehend, nearer the curvature of the head. And obviously I'm getting shorter, uh, I'm getting longer around my crown area, right? So that's what I mean by dropping it. Always square. Always, always, always square. Yeah. 
Oh, it's amazing. You you want to do you want to avoid doing this work, guys, just for obvious reasons. You want to end up with all sorts of lies of your hair. And again, you don't want to create work. I mean, yeah. not only this, but I mean, you're a step ahead of the game. So, timing wise, it's uh, yeah. Oh, it's a very, very popular barbering technique. This is your traditional barbering technique. They did this, again, just because of dirty hair. That's kind of where it stems from. Mm, I don't want to touch his hair. The reverse layering. And then actually, the accuracy in it is just incredible. Everyone just walked out. This is quicker. Obviously, a wide tooth comb is paramount, very, very important. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Nice and black. Nice and black. What's the maximum length you could use this for? Well, so you've got to think how strong your comb can hold your section accurately straight. Okay. Yeah, so obviously if you've got too much length then all it all starts relaxing. And you haven't got your you haven't got your accuracy in your comb. So it's kinda of like right cool well, how 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 long can I control it really? So it's all down to your individual. No. No. You wouldn't want to reverse layer curly hair. Because you'll end up in a right old mess. You think you've got to have each section straight from that head, yeah? So, you can give it a go. Um, I just feel that it would you'd be creating a lot more work for yourself on curly hair, which is obviously what we don't want to do. So, yeah, that's the stuff. so when I comb it down, it's evident where I need to go back in. Go back in. Down, in. And I'm simply just going about half an inch lower each time. Yeah. Yeah. So again, where's my next? Where am I going to put slide my scissor in? Wicked. Cool. So it's very evident where you can see it. Yeah. Cool. Come up a little bit higher. Pull out square. March. Down. In. It's very delicate, guys. Yeah. So what I'm actually doing is when I've when I've done my column, that's where that Caesar over comb is coming into play because I'll just come back up the column to dust any imperfections off. So how long? How big are those? I don't know. Seven. Six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't want anything bigger than that. Long as I've seen it's 14. What's that? I've seen them actually. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them. Fourteen. Well, you said forty as in fourteen. Oh no, that'd be about that. Oh, they're gardening <laughs> shoes. Yeah. They're not scissors. They're fourteen. They're just ridiculous. Wow. That would be. Too, they're like sewing scissors. Fourteen inch. Yeah, they're like snipping on. Afros, yeah. Extra long. Coming in, March. So obviously now I'm going squarer again. She said typically you do the sides in the back and the wraps five to ten. Yeah. What's that? It's the quickest demo I've seen. Really? 
Well, the thing is, guys, you can't overcomplicate this. So, you know, for an educator to start overcomplicating it to sound better. Dickhead. <laughs> this isn't a complicated yeah. method, but it's so efficient. So, so efficient. Okay, we're coming in now. And now we've got all of that weight from above. Okay? So we've just got to be really, really, really sort of disciplined that you don't overly shoot the size of the section. Do you take, uh, do you part out the fringe? Uh, depending if you disconnect from it or not. Okay. Are we yeah, well, I mean, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to avoid doing the fringe in this section. Um, again, personal, you know, whatever, you, whatever you're doing with the cut. <coughs> Excuse me. I always feel it's nice to leave a little bit of length on the fringe because you can always chop it into it later. Do you know what I mean? You can always sort of smash it up. So you do a V-section? Uh, I personally would just get that out of the way. Yeah. Right. And while I'm here, I'm going to just go around my airline. Point cutting you were doing on Jordan last week was sick. <laughs> How did you find a pattern just today, guys? Yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was that the only one you did one? Yeah. Cool. So. Oh, that's yeah. good. Cheers. <laughs> okay, cool. Right. So, this is ridiculously long, but we're going to showcase it anyway. So. Right. So what we're going to do again, we're going from, we're going to go from the most protruding part of the top of the head, <coughs> apex mastoid section. Where's the apex? Where's the apex? Middle. The highest point. The highest, highest point. point. The highest point. Highest point. Highest point. Bring it up square. Take off your inch. Go down. Back in. Bring it up square. Take off your inch. Put it down. Now it's really important that you comb down flat with the back of your comb. Yeah? Because it gives you the tension for you to come back in, take off your inch. Go down, back in. Again, I'm only going, I'm going half an inch sections. <coughs> you want to avoid this too much. Yeah, none of this, because you lose you you lose your tension. Okay, you're gonna come in straight away, in up, boss, cut it and down, in. First time up. Again, it's so long. I'm kind of having to do this. Cutting straight up. Yes, buddy. Yeah. So you see what I mean by the length? You sort of start to lose your tension. Yeah. Still fairly, 
Fairly accurate. I'll be that section yet. Not bad. It's slightly longer towards the front, which is not a problem. Cool. Now, again, just got a pizza section from the apex. You've done your first column. Next column, next column, next column, next column, next column. Yeah? Same again from this side. Boom, 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 boom. So. Coming in. Again, you've got to have it very natural for obvious reasons. So are you pulling it out parallel to the head following the sort of contour? Yes. Yeah. So it just yeah. carries on okay. like a round yeah, so layer? Whatever. Okay. Like a round cool. layer from yeah. the top. Cool. No, just clean. Just clean. Clean, 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 clean. That is the key. It's the key to any work. I mean, the amount of barbers I've seen trying to fade dirty hair, one bother. Mm. Waste of time. For one, it's dirty, so why touch it? For two, it's unnatural, so how are you going to get a good fade? I know it's difficult because some barber shops don't have the facilities to wash and blah, 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 blah. Hey, I'm just a bit too much of a snob. Okay, no, you're not at all. I just can't stand that. Yeah. So ideally, if we can wash every customer before we do anything else, is that always a good idea, yeah? Yeah. 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 I used to work in a salon where if your hair wasn't clean, they wouldn't see you. Yeah. Like Perfect. if it was specifically yeah. dirty, Love yeah. you recharge yeah. shampoo. You charge to shampoo? Yeah. How much is a bottle of shampoo? Yeah. How much is a bottle of shampoo? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At the shop, it depends. I mean, we're using the full shampoo. Oh, really? Do you know how much our shampoo is? A pound for three litres. Then it's a chance to shampoo. It's outside shampoo. Is it? Yeah. It's added it's revenue. It's not. It's corporate. No, for sure. No, I totally understand that. So a lot of people will, will skip the shampoo because they. Yeah. Well, again, I mean, for me, I mean, I, five dollars. Wow. I mean, is it worth? Is it worth the five dollars? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, you know, I would definitely be explaining the benefits of why shampoo is so important. If you don't want it, okay, cool. You're the idiot. But if it's possible, it would be good practice just to shampoo everyone at the beginning, so it's just clean. So. Yeah, I don't agree with shampoo halfway through, either, guys. I think it's a complete waste yeah. of your time. You need to wash that client's hair. Wash it. Yeah. Then cut it. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Yeah. 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 yeah, that makes no yeah. sense. Yeah. Oh, makes no yeah. sense. And I had a customer ask at the end of the cut if he could have a second wash before he, before he went. Some do that though because they don't feel up here all over. Yeah. Yeah. So some do do that for that reason. I wouldn't do it personally. No, I didn't. I said we didn't have time, you know. If they ask, then yeah. Alright, cool. So. I'm just going to go through. 
just check that we're all connected. Lovely. 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 Check the corner. Okay, Coke, Coke. Right, well, I'm just gonna wet it down. I'm just gonna <laughs> dry the top back a little bit. Obviously, we dried it quite full. I'm not gonna really like overly, 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 overly dry. Do you blow dry your yourself? Like? You do. Oh, very nice. Well, yeah, it's called the Hampton, we call it. Pardon me? Call it the Hampton. Can we call it the Hampton? Okay. Do you know why? No, why? Is, that really... Is it like the Hamptons in the States? No. We just stuck the name to it. <laughs> I think it's to do with... It's Jordan that called it a Hampton. I don't know, I think it's to do with Hampshire. They all have the same Hampton. But the beauty of it, guys, eh? it might have to do with uh, the Hamptons That's what I said, yeah. yeah That's yeah, a very yeah. famous associated yeah, with... Um, I mean, the reason why I'm saying uh, is because there's no Jordan Oh, okay, yeah, that's fair. Very outdoors. Yeah, exactly. It's a quite a high-end place to visit to holiday, isn't it, in the States? Okay, so by lifting it up, I suppose you create a bit of an undercut, and then take the fluff to the hairline. Oh, that sounds amazing. What was that? <laughs> I've never, hardly ever had these unless I'm really struggling enough. So, well, so, guys, by taking a fluff to the hairline, like so, it just allows you to point cut your hairline. So, you keep it nice and natural. I think. Um, love this. That, that, it's a bit of a round. Yeah, I've seen the sugar <laughs> horse sperm in what? <laughs> Whose job is it to work off a horse head? How's <laughs> that? Get off, blimey. Hold it, it's hold in. <laughs> really? It's a, it's a, it's a bull's hormone. It's so again, just undercut the fluff, it keeps it nice and soft, yeah? So we're just doing some texturizing techniques. So, <laughs> so what I'm doing, I'm just point cutting into that route, okay? Are you a hairdresser as well, by the way? I run by the train, yeah. yeah. There you go, you can tell. When people do stuff like that, you know they've done hairdressing. I've never seen that in my life. Yeah. So sharp. Do that. 
I'll have to show you my hidden layering technique. I showed Jordan, he was pretty impressed. What is it, what is it, what is it, what is it, what did I? I'll show you later. What did I, what did I? So again, this is, it's great for fine hair, this texturizing technique. It sounds mental. Why would you texturize fine hair? So what you're doing, right? You're keeping your shape. Your shape's all there. It's all sharp, it's all blunt, yeah? What I'm doing, by just chopping into this root, <coughs> like so. Oh, I've seen that the top What that does is it just gives it longer and shorter hairs. The finer hair, it's a scaffolding for the longer hair to sit on top of, so it sits thicker, okay? Even though this is nice thick hair, I'm just trying to show you as many different textures as you can. Cool. Obviously, you've got your channel cutting, your twist cutting. What's twist cutting? I'm showing you now. <laughs> so what did you call this one? Uh, what should we call it? Let's make a name up. That's the beauty of your hair, Jason, guys. It's just someone that's decided Dragon to call it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They just stick, people just stick names to things and it just sticks. It's, it's great. <laughs> we'll call it Dragon Texturizing. It's a bit dramatic, but fuck it. Let's call it that. Shaolin Texturizing. Secret Shaolin Texturizing technique. Yeah, that's the bell. I like that. Shaolin Texturizing. We're getting Shaolin Texturizing. I've never heard of a Shaolin monk. No. Shaolin Sopka. Oh, you know, it's you know, it's it's a Shaolin monk? No. Oh, God. <laughs> From Shaolin. Yeah. In China. I'm gonna go back to the and the idea. I think that's the actual title of the course. <laughs> so, so they'll be happy if you teach everyone. Avenger point pattern. That is so much better. <laughs> It's like the one when they pull the hair out and cut it. It's important that this is a straight, not at an angle, obviously. You just cut it, chunk after chunk. I've seen that happen, that's quite funny on stage. It's like when I was learning to do, like, you know, when you slide it across the hair as an angle. Yeah, so what I'm doing is, again, I'm just giving those longer short hairs, but I'm giving my shape. Yeah. That particular yeah, so it's exactly the same as what I was doing on the side. So I've got quite a lot of it. And so I use my hand to push the head away so it starts to just fan out. I was wondering if you were pushing him or if he was. No, 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 I was, I was actually yeah, pushing him. Sure, yeah, so I've got him. I got him and I'm, I'm and pushing him with my hand. Okay. And then again, it just allows it to just fall out really you softly. Yeah, basically. And then, you're, you know, you've got your obvious channel cutting, like you just said. Yeah. Oh, and that's just with a very subtle movement, is it? Very subtle. Yeah. So you're not chopping. Twist it. So twist it. Yeah. Tap. Put you in the chopper. That's cool. So you just literally uh, like channel cutting, just ever so gently grazing it with it. Not good for the hair. Oh. Oh, again, buddy. So you're doing all these sort of different te techniques. Is that wrong? Is that bad for the hair? Why would it be bad for the hair? I don't know. Did you not take a bit too much out? Well, you're controlling it. Yeah, you just don't want to get the same section. Yeah, so just oh, so the section that you're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. the yeah. section that you're doing. You just put it out of the way. Just simply doing a few different techniques. That's all. You're not breaking it. 
It's good, that one's great, but it's just, uh, especially if you've got really, really thick hair, if you're overly pointy cut, you end up with such a thick root. You know? Which is good. How you hold it. If you go in on an angle, you take chunks of the way you're not touching the shape. If you still lift all that back up, you won't notice any of it. The whole shape, you'll still make the whole box. We'll give it that. Okay. Okay. Chew long a bit, we'll give it that. Uh. Sorry, guys. But you know what I mean? No, no, I get it. You can do that if you don't know how to texturize properly. Yeah, you can go through and have done a whole haircut, then you've got the shape. And you just ruin the shape. What the hell have I done? Yeah, that's what's with the texturizer, guys. It's so important. You know, with these things, I don't want to see any of you doing any of this shit right in the room. Okay? These are great for external. Yeah, nothing internal. And what, okay? and what Just to take out some of the weight, yeah? Essentially, you'd be surprised how many people use it like that. Just so they'll say, oh, it's right, stuck so up here, so they'll go down to the room. By going right in and, and doing that, that yeah. you think if you take it right out when it starts you, growing, it's going to go like this, isn't it? I tell them to push the hair up. They're going to look like this. Then I can so it's going to lose that shape. Yeah. Okay, so just yeah. Yeah. And they go, well, what do you mean? I said you're going to have short hair sticking up out of the finish. And I section the hair. So I'm just going over the ends, guys. Through there like that. So what I'm doing with your texturizer, you just serrate. You think you've club cut it all. It's all really sharp. So with your texturizer, just serrates the edge. Again, helps it grow out really nice and softly. Let's go my salon. But that'll only be on the sides and back, yeah? Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> the schools ones, right? What's that one? Are those the schools ones? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I feel bad. Legends. Name of Taki too. Uh, I think so. Get those at the No, I ordered these, like, after I was. Mike's becoming a bit of a connoisseur. Yeah. Yeah, if you go in and you have seen all the way from the top. You got the hair close like the to the, the scalp, the scalp is going to be thick. You are. Yes, yeah, they are. Yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You need it? Cool, guys. So, surface razor ends, really, really nice. Ah, oh, feather razor, cool. <clears throat> really, really nice. And again, what that's designed to do is get these little flyaway bits. So, just gliding over the surface, yeah. yeah. And it's nice on the hairline as well that you can sort of. So it's to give a lot of smoother finish, isn't it? it? Yeah, yeah. We've got lots and lots of cuts. Mm. Okay. So, guys, with, with your um, scissor work, I want you to predominantly be doing like scissor and blah, 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 reverse layer. So if the, the hair is more close, like yes, you would not do this. You would want to be doing it with just your blunt blades. Yeah, so. Yeah? Oh, all of this on Asian is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, this is what, this is all Japanese. No, 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 not that, but the reverse layer. Reverse layer works fantastically. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, um, it's extremely evident where your weight is. So you just got to be really, really, really disciplined in the size of the section and making sure your scissor over comb back up to the point that you started. But Asian hair for, for a reverse layer is great, it's the best to practice on because it's so evident where all of them. We all use I would think because a lot of times the hair is going straight outwards. Yeah. It would be more difficult to. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Um, I like reverse layering on, on Asian type hair, the straight hair, because because you're cutting it so blunt and this is uh, and the, the the texture of the hair is so straight and blunt. You're cutting it so straight and blunt. When you start putting fingers through things through your fingers, you're always running risk of knuckle mark, <coughs> over tension. Whereas you're cutting it how we do. That makes sense. Cool. Okay. Right, guys, any questions? Any questions? No? Cool.
it's quite effective, right? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to try something slightly different again. It's fudge. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go more of a varnish. Okay. So you'll get the definition, but the other way. Do you want me to re-blow dry it? I can do it if you like. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, no problem. So we're going to use... When would we still use... When would we still use underhand then, now that we've got this in our bag? Question. Longer hair? Because uh, that's up to about comb length, is it? are charging more. Okay. <coughs> if you're charging, sorry, my friend. If you're charging 35 plus for a haircut, you wouldn't reverse lay someone's hair. Okay. Just because it is evident that you're doing it quite quickly. Even though it's still accurate, <coughs> you'll never get it as accurate as if you are layering on the hat. Yeah? Um, that. <laughs> Now you like it running yeah. to yourself. Okay, cool. Cool. I like to do a lot of my longer drives with my fingers tight. Right? Um, simply because you get it, it becomes very evident to the client how simple it is to dry your own hair with your fingers. Especially if you're trying to encourage your clients to you know, spend a little bit more time with styling. Don't overcomplicate it by trying to get that them to stick a brush in their hand because they're never going to do it. Not in a million years, you make someone try and blow on their hair with a brush. That doesn't know what to do. So, do your fingers. Fingers and a nozzle. That's all you need, really. What are you setting on medium? No, I've always got it on hot. I don't agree with it being on medium. Uh, again, that's another reason why it's good to have your hands in there. It's hot air, you can feel how hot it is. Yeah. Medium, medium heat just takes longer to dry. Yeah. And I got patience. Cool. Phil, can you start putting mums in seats for me, please? Yes, I can. I mean. The ones that are available, my friends. Right. Yeah. I'm trying to bring um, a little bit of shine back in to the manlyhood. They're all so matte. Not a matte finish, please. Why? It's got things shine again. Is that looking alright for you, my friend? Pardon? First one? Cool. So, would the matte spray be counterproductive to this, or would it kind of yeah. bring it up a little bit? No, the matte spray would be counterproductive to putting the wider side. Yeah. Maybe my gas is always a nice one. It works. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah, this is just like a. Membrane gas. Membrane gas. Marketing. Oh, I had a little boy one time. He wouldn't get a certain product because I said, "Oh, that's what I use on my head." No, mum, a girl uses that. <laughs> because a girl used that product, he so wouldn't bad. let his mum buy it. He had to get so the other bad. one. Wow. Well, it's pathetic as well. It's like male shampoos with a black bottle. Yeah. I can't use that because it's. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. It's actually probably better for your hair. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I use the Redken Curl. Yeah. 
I don't care yeah, if it's that well, works. But that, it's just about, and as women are the same as well. Some of them will buy our hair styles products because, oh, it matches my bathroom. Yeah, but that's for colored hair and your hair's not, yeah, but it matches my bathroom. <laughs> we never go in your bathroom that they're going to see that your shampoo bottle matches the tile. I just in case they do. 